I feel like if I've seen her in Santo Domingo as well, I think probably she had, let's say she woman up at 10, you would see her like doing all sorts of activation at like 9.05 until 10 o'clock. Spent, maybe if you spent more time in the gym like Stacey, you'd have back-to-back titles. In you're right, you're right. Maybe I need to do some more foam rolling. <laughs> yeah. What's in your in your bag? What do you travel with for recovery? Okay, honestly, it's it's kind of funny. I do travel with like quite a bit like fitness equipment now. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe that comes out of like paranoia. Okay. <laughs> Even like from Cancun because places like that like you never know what the gym setup's gonna be like it could just be a few mats you could have weights you could have mm-hmm. like i you never so you know travel with weights? <laughs> <laughs> I <will. Yeah. laughs> no i don't travel with weights but i do like travel with like a two pound like sand like ball so it's like so yes yeah, so travel, very travel light, with weights. well it's a very <laughs> two very out. two pounds like um but it's great for like warm-ups and stuff you know just like tossed around like serves and stuff like that but i do travel with like a few different like bands in case you want to do like some resistance stuff um obviously the foam roller the ball <laughs> the lacrosse ball i now have like the rolly stick um the peanut uh-huh. <laughs> the massage gun <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't know just like how much time a day do you spend like warming up that? and cooling down a lot like, like if I, you yeah, practice yeah, twice yeah, in a day it. Let's say you train at 10 and 2. Will you do a full warm-up and a full cool-down? Full warm-up, full cool-down? I would try to, yes, if I had the time. Like, it depends. Like, if I need to, like, rush to get lunch or, like, if it's far, like, if I'm staying far from the courts or something. But, yeah. I can you can to. you rush us through a routine like a warm up? Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do. I was waiting for this question. Um, no, honestly, I always start with a good roll, like <laughs> a good roll. Okay, I just don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> you really foam like, roller, foam roller okay. and ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, ball. Yeah, at the same of, time. I honestly know. <laughs> It's like doing three different p- body parts with one, like, with one. Like, <laughs> like, I, wow, yeah. <laughs> I wish. I honestly wish. What's a good rule like? Okay, honestly, this is gonna sound so OCD, but like I literally just like start from like the bottom up. Like mm-hmm. I'll just start like rolling my feet, then the calves, then like quads, move up, whatever. I do like a few little stretches just to feel. Nimble. Loose, limber. Yeah, like, I don't know. Maybe you don't sleep well one night. Like, I just don't know. <laughs> you just never know what's going to hit you. And so I do that, and then I get into, like, activating. <laughs> and what are we activating? We start from the from the bottom up again? We're <laughs> no, laughing, and this is no. a no, it's professional. Great. This is being professional. We're learning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so then I, just, <laughs> and then I activate, but then I... Like, <laughs> Just, I don't know why this sounds like such a foreign concept, but it's like it's just like a core glute shoulder thing. Okay. And I think for me, like, yes, I'm ticking it off like my to do list for the day, but it gives me that like sense of like, okay, every day I'm doing something small, so it's like it's maintenance. But it's like when you're on the road, like we all know, you can never really get a good workout, and like it's it's hard to schedule fitness on the road. At least that's what I struggled with a lot at the beginning. Is I'd go on the road and I come back and I would just feel very match fit but not necessarily like quick or sharp or fast or strong and so like doing these little things for me at least personally like it, it just helps give me that like peace of mind but also like i do think it it really does help just maintenance and like technique and keeping everything like together so yeah just like a little core thing little activation glutes yeah. and shoulders okay and then you yeah. play and then the session and then you warm done. or you have to do dynamic now that's the warm up to the warm up yeah, no, that's like literally like a morning thing I thought thing. once you're activated you're good to go so now you have more to go yeah so like after, that, that's like something activated. that I'll do in the morning so like whether I'm hitting at like 10 and I'm doing that at 9 or if I'm hitting at 1 like and I wake up like I'll just do it just to be like okay I did it and like I'm gonna feel good and you, the thing is like also you just feel good like you, you feel accomplished and you're like okay my body's like ready like and then you can kind of gauge like how am I feeling? Am I more sore today? Do I have to make adjustments to my practice? Like, mm-hmm. should I go later in practice? Should I go like more in the gym? Do I need to like stretch more later today? Like, I don't know. <laughs> and then Probably hit, yes. Probably yes. <laughs> but then, and then before you hit, yeah, we'll um, yeah like uh, an, another roll. Another. <laughs> no, <laughs> a good, I, I a chill, great I, roll. <laughs> no, but then I get into more like obviously like, dynamic stuff and like mm, on court. Obviously. Half two, yeah. yeah. So then, yeah, you know, run around, little arm swings, leg swings. <laughs> Good to go. Shuffles. Okay, <laughs> okay. so now that's that's before practice. Practice done. Cool now. down. What are we doing? Cool down, yeah. 
Cool. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no, this is like another like good stretch. Like if I'm hitting again later that day, like I won't I won't go extreme. Like I'll just I'll just stretch to make sure like if I'm sitting around for the next few hours that like I don't feel stiff. But um. Wait, what, just, end of day. End of day, I do like to kind of do a similar like. Roll. Like, full body. Uh -huh. Roll. So it's a similar, the roll is similar. Yeah, the first but honestly, and last it's, like, it's like soothing. Like, I, I don't find it a chore. I think maybe at the beginning, I was like, wow, this takes a lot longer than I was expecting. But now it's, it's I don't know. Like, I can. I it's can like do, a routine. Yeah, it's like, I think at the beginning, I was always on my phone having to do something. Because I'm like, I need to distract myself. Like, this is so boring. Like, I don't want to be doing this. Because it is hard. It's uncomfortable. Especially when maybe you're not as flexible as that you'd hope to be. Mm -hmm. Or as mobile. And then you're like. Oh my gosh! Like, when you I go home now, will you this? roll again? She probably already <laughs> did. It. No, she probably already did it. <laughs> yeah, I did my my pre activation yeah. before this. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but then you kind of you see the progression, and it's mm. it's nice, and then it becomes easier, and like I can I can easily roll stretch for like forty five minutes, not be on my phone, and just kind of like I don't know, just maybe helps just is it, mind. Is it like bit. one of those things where you know they say like you should make your bed in the morning because it like starts the day off like, on a good yeah. note, kind of. Yeah, that's definitely kind of how I started to look at it. Yeah. Because I would kind of start it, like, at any point of day. Like, say, for example, I was hitting at 2 o'clock. I would do it at 1. But if you just do it first thing in the morning, it's just, yeah, you kind of start like, your check, day off right. Yeah, start your day off right. 